All right, you guys are probably wondering what's going on here. Well, I got the forge all tore apart, and I had a lot of trouble with clinkers. They were getting stuck in this grate, and I had a hard time getting air up through there. So I uh, got online. This is the old uh, grate we cut out of cast iron out of a barbecue grill grate. So we're going to upgrade that. I went online and I was looking on YouTube there and there was a gentleman on there that made a, a, a forge out of a plow disc. Some kind of disc. A farm disc. Something like that. And uh, he had a clinker breaker in there. So I uh, sent him a message and asked him if I could see just a little bit more about how that thing was built. Because I sure would like to have something like that for mine. It would save a lot of trouble from beating them clinkers out there. So... Uh, he said he uh, made me a video. Hey, that shows you. You ask these guys; they, they'll help you out. And it did help me out a lot. So what I did is I come up with a um, piece of metal. I'm going to show you here. All right, and I'll show you this piece of metal I came up with. It was. It's just a. It's actually a, off of a motor, like a hydraulic motor or a, some kind of a almost like a crankshaft uh, piece. I'll give you a little better view and what I did is I drilled a hole through here and I put a set screw in the side that's how he had his set up with a set screw so that's the way I wanted to build mine with a little set screw in it so what I'll do is I'll put that I drilled a hole down through here I drilled a hole through the bottom of this thing and then my brake drum sets on top of here and this will set in the center of here and when you You'll have it like this, and you'll be able to break your clinkers. So that's our that's what we're doing with the brake drum forge. We're gonna tear it apart and make us a clinker breaker. And hopefully this will save a lot of the trouble from having to poke that thing all the time. And I'll I'll have a little rod right out here in the front and I'll be able to take this thing and, and just twist it back and forth and hopefully that'll break up what clinkers are down in there. Now that's not gonna get rid of the clinkers. We're still going to take the clinkers out, but it's going to break them up when they get seized up in there. So, that's what we're doing right now. Now we're going to start, we're going to start putting this thing back together. Hopefully we get it back in the same spot it was before. I'm hoping. This thing got to be put together all down here. You can't really put it together underneath because you can't spin none of this stuff. So we're going to see if we can get it back together here. Now when you ain't got you don't have anybody to help you, you figure different ways of putting stuff in. I figured this four jack helped me get a couple of these bolts started. Seems mighty heavy, I'll tell you. I'll get a couple of these started and let it hang there. And then we'll uh, finish putting the rest of them in. Get lined up. They're always hard to put back together when you had them set up once and all your levers are set up one we'll just set that, that floor jack out of there okay everyone we got our uh our rod here done for the uh shaker it's gonna be a little shaker handle here i welded the washer on here and i welded a little tip on here just so i don't want this to go in and out i want to try to keep that centered up in there as best i can so I'll show you how it's going to go in there. All right, now you can see the hole I drilled through the bottom of that. Right there's my uh, brake drum. There's my brake drum there. And then I drilled a hole right through that little piece right there that goes down into the brake drum. So what I'll do, 
is I'll have to reach inside put this in that hole right there and I'll get it part way through and then I'll slide it down all the way through until it stops okay it stopped right there now once we got that piece in there what we'll do is we'll slide this one up on there and we'll bolt this in and then we'll be able to use this as our shaker grate back and forth so we'll get okay, that drill a couple up. holes through this thing we got it squared up pretty good We just put a piece of angle across here just so we could use that to hold that and maybe we'll weld a couple little uh, prongs on there to hold our tongs or something. All right, there's our shaker grate, the handle for it, and we know when that thing's straight up and down, that inside is straight up and down. So there's the inside, and if you see, I put a little notch in there so I can get to my little the uh, set screw in there and so you could just turn that back and forth and uh, break your clinkers and uh, thanks to the uh, gentleman that made me the video I got to make that for my forge and uh, I think it was Orion's anvil if you look on my website I actually uh, subscribed to his channel and uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name correct or not, but... Okay, that was my upgrade to the uh, Break Drum Forge. Um, when you guys uh, get on YouTube and you see something you like or you want to build, like me, this that uh, Orion Zanvil, he uh, made me a video, which was really nice, because it showed me how to do it. Don't be afraid to ask somebody, because you might get a surprise and will make you a video. I want to tell everybody thanks for watching a, a video and thanks for the subscribers on my channel. Uh, until next time, take it easy guys.